it's fresh here and today i will be showing you how to quickly set up your virtual box and compile your first kernel so let's get started you will be needing the health kitchen distro download the 64 bit version and beta 5 it's of 1.5 gigabyte and it's worth the download I will be showing you how to compile your first kernel and for this you will be needing the Google GCC tool chains you can get them from my github repo that is github.com slash numnitsurish and go to linear toolchain 4.8 to download this one or you can also download the android ndk from google sdk site i will be posting the link below in the video description so in this video i will be only showing you how to compile the kernel and not adding any features in it so let's set up the virtual box now make a new virtual machine name it xyz linux ubuntu next set your ram size i have 4 gb of ram i can set max to 2 gb i have set it to 1 gb now for now click next I have already set these things up so I will be showing you settings 1 GB of RAM <coughs> so let's quickly start it It can take some time to load the virtual machine. So here it is, it has loaded up and let me show you the Android tool chain. These are the tool chains which we will be using to compile of first kernel and then moving further extract the Sony source and rename it to any thing. I have renamed it to Android kernel Sony Tau Shan L and firstly to compile your first kernel you have to edit the make file make sure you edit it to point it to your tool chain let me quickly show you how to edit it so here it is change this one to the i mean change your default one to this one this is pointing to the tool chain that i have it on my virtual machine after changing it to the tool chains part just save it and close it and open your terminal 
type cd your directory of kernel in my case it's android cd sony cd android underscore kernel underscore sony underscore t taushan so here it is i will reach my kernel directory moving further i will be compiling the kernel so first of all you will be needing the name sorry the file name of your config in my case it's phoenix taushan underscore def config and in stock one it will be sa77 underscore def config make arch is equal to arm your config name that is in my case phoenix underscore taushan underscore def config and press enter So here you go, ignore these errors and now run make arch is equal to arm menu config Here you can edit your kernel configurations that is change this name local version kernel compression more and more I will be talking about it on my next video that is advanced kernel tweaks that will be about advanced kernel tweaks and adding some features for now I will be only showing you how to compile your simple first kernel and now to compile your kernel just run arch is equal to arm make j x number of cpus you have in, on your virtual machine in my case i have two i have dual core setup so i have dual cores two cores so i will be giving it j3 you can also run it as it is I am not running this command as it will take me an hour or so depending on my CPU configuration. So I will be showing you what should you be doing after compiling your first kernel. So just go to the arch um, boot copy of that image go to the and i forgot to, to mention that you have to download this boot tools master i will be posting the link below in the description just go to it extract your kernel that is take your stock kernel and keep the kernel here and run extract.sh it will extract the kernel and then copy that z image and paste it in it and replace it and then just run this script by just opening it run in terminal here you can see it's preparing the ram disk and kernel so it's all done just take your kernel out of this boot image and then test it on your device and be sure to take your modules from the drivers folder just search for .co files in my case i have no .co files 
as I have my clean build here which means that I have to compile my kernel and get them you will be getting these files I will quickly show you wait so here you go you will be getting these files make sure you have enabled the uh, what you say enable primer of LAN driver or else your Wi-Fi will not be working in your build let me show you that go to arch arm configs folder open your def config file and add your and add these lines at the end to make your prima land driver enabled wait I have it yes enable these config prima land and config prima land and fr after enable, enabling it run your make commands to compile your kernel and then follow the instruction that I showed you now your, your kernel will be ready to be flashed on your device test it make sure everything runs fine and then after that you can post it on XDA so that's all guys it was a quick tutorial on making your first kernel setting up your virtual machine in my next video I will be trying to teach you how to add more features to it so till then subscribe like comment if you have faced any problems below I will be happy to solve them for you so that's all guys will love to meet you in my next video thank you for watching this video face out